There are plenty of assets that can really paint a picture for you. For instance, check out lift. We are just dropping down, entering the short zone, and making a reversal right away. URAUD played out perfectly. Let me share a quick trick with you that helps me avoid situations where the picture isn't clear. If I notice an asset suddenly reversing, like the euro did, I stop focusing on it. When I see that the setup is broken and the asset reverses unexpectedly, from random levels I make a point not to pay attention to those scenarios. This is important because down the road traders, especially newer ones like you, tend to create a picture in their heads. They think there was something there, maybe a strong level. But take a closer look, the asset just reversed. Now let's move on and see if that reversal had something to do with the dollar index. So let's keep going. Again, you know, the asset reversed out of nowhere. I had a few setups in mind. Uh, I'll show you what I was looking at later. I would have put that asset on my short list. I probably wouldn't have fully understood those uh, sudden moves that happened. They were tied to the uh, dollar index and the Australian dollar. I had it on my short list. It dipped a bit and then suddenly reversed. I really don't like situations like that. Here's why. Uh, it usually means that for the next few days, there won't be any clear opportunities because the picture is broken. In other words, the market was reversed. The overall pattern is unclear and as you can see, we'll move on. Basically, the assets just reversed out of nowhere. Naturally, everything is reacting against the dollar. So the dollar index went up. The same thing happened with the Canadian dollar. That's the situation. Oh, and about oil, by the way, I mentioned oil yesterday. Initially leaning towards a long position. Thus, there was a really good level. Oil moved quite nicely. Uh, what's the high? Let's check. It's at 7,462 now, almost a dollar. It spiked up, as you can see, at the reversal point where I recommended it. Oil is moving in the direction of the primary trend, so it's probably an hourly chart. It's likely not going to drop any further. Okay, let's keep going. ETH slash BTC. I didn't have Ethereum on my list. My focus was on Bitcoin in the short zone. Take a look at where I had Bitcoin positioned. This wasn't for futures, by the way. My Bitcoin was sitting at 57. That's where I was tracking it. Bitcoin performed really well, hitting almost one and a half thousand points. If the picture breaks, uh, the market reverses and is then restored. Is the pattern still relevant? Yes. That's exactly what happened with Bitcoin. It's a similar scenario. See, it hit the level, bounced back, and then returned here. The picture didn't break. So take a closer look. If the price isn't going up and down around the level, for example, if you find yourself in a situation like this, the picture is probably no longer relevant because that's how the price was behaving. You either need to adjust the levels or wait for the level to clear up somehow. But when the price fluctuates around the level, the market will most likely reverse. It's gotten harder to pick assets. Here's why. The market has become a bit more nervous especially Forex, which has turned really jittery. All right, check this out. Here's what we've got. This is silver. We drop down into the short zone and then immediately reverse. It's pretty clear that in situations like this, the market likely doesn't know where to go. If you see something like this and the price is moving up and down around the level on either a lower or higher time frame, the market usually reverses. Now gold. Take a look. Do you see the patterns? The market is really tough right now. Pay attention. I recorded a special video yesterday. It's up on Instagram. Look at what happened yesterday. Suddenly there was a drop. News about Nvidia. The news about Nvidia potentially facing trial for antitrust probes came out only in the afternoon. Before that, Nvidia had already dropped nearly 9%. When I see patterns like this, I know the picture isn't clear to me. Most likely nothing significant will happen. Maybe GBP slash JPY had a slight move. EUR per AUD performed really well, surprisingly enough. Notice that everything related to non-dollar pairs did well. Look at Euro to Australian dollar and British pound to Australian dollar. They moved nicely, see? But everything connected to dollar pairs didn't perform well at all. All right, here's the deal. 
sometimes you'll see a big player, either a large seller or buyer, step into the market and create a huge bar. After that, the asset might head off in a certain direction. Now, a big bar isn't the same as a weak level, nor is it a situation where the price is going up and down around the level. Let's check out what happened. Yesterday was particularly interesting. Look at PG from yesterday. A really nice pattern played out beautifully. Let's walk through the market and see what's actually creating good patterns. Moving on, what do we have? You see, um, the market opened today, took a bit of a hit, uh, but it's slowly starting to recover. Uh, this indicates that the market isn't ready to drop just yet. Notice how Amazon also offered a good entry into a short trade yesterday. Even though there's a nice short setup, the market isn't ready to go down yet. Take Tesla, for example, it's fully uh, recovered. We'll get to Nike in a minute. It's on my list. See, it's completely played out the fall. The market's signaling that it's not ready for further downside. Not yet. If we had a continuation today, we'd likely be heading down. All right, here's how to level up. You've got to do your homework on all asset classes. You need to keep an eye on both crypto and stocks. Every day, there are stocks or even coins that are doing exceptionally well. Check this out. This stock jumped 50% today and here's another one also up 50%. These stocks that make the list are definitely worth trading, especially if they have good volume. There are plenty of tools that will really give you a clear picture. For example, take a look at LIFT coin. Someone pointed out that it's accumulating really well. I definitely put it on the list. Notice the strong level, strong accumulation. It's not reacting to the market, it's not dropping. You can see it has really strong accumulation happening for almost a month. This is how I go through the assets every day. I guarantee that if we dive into stocks trading at $10 or $5 like Nike, we'd see the same thing. But with Nike, the market reversed, so everything else follows. But here's the key. You need to focus on assets that show you a clear, understandable picture. And don't forget the most important rule. Choose assets that, like DJT, play their own game and do not go against the market. For instance, take a look at Starbucks. If that level breaks, it's time to short it.